We claim to be the oldest rum producer in the world. The first island really in the British West Indies that began to mass produce sugar in the 1640s. And one of the byproducts of that is this fermented cane juice, um, originally called Kill Devil. Um, it then turned into rum bullion. Rum bullion was the, uh, the spirituous liquor. Uh, and he described it as hot and fiery and so on, and being so popular with the planters and their slaves alike. And uh, so that was the middle of the 17th century. And people think that the name rum bullion originated in Barbados and led to the shorter form rum. There are several different types of rums. They can be very light rums, medium body rums, and heavy body rums. What we'll do is try rum against scotch, right? And we say to people, well, which is which? Half the time, more than half the time, they're wrong. They pick the rum and think it's the scotch because it's so smooth. For the connoisseur, I think the best way is either on the rocks or um, straight or, you know, with some very cold water. The historical setting, it was a rum. It was one of the first islands that produced rum out of the cane sugar and it was notoriously good rum. We had the best sugar, and most, mostly sugar on the island, so the rum, of course, comes from the sugar. And that's gone right through each generation. Of course, some of them drink too much of it. For me, blending is really an art form. What I do, basically, is to use uh, different rums, different maturities, to take that initial product to where it's supposed to be, in terms of quality, and characteristics. Because of the temperate climate, um, our, our evaporation process and our, our cooking process and aging process is, is faster. So we're able to produce a, a 10 year old maturity in five years. In a very old rum, what happens is that all the plant chemicals, the tannins, the saponins, are extracted into that liquid. Um, and those actually give the mature spirit, a very characteristic flavor and aroma. Rum in Barbados, as far as I understand, is the best throughout the world because it comes from pure sugar cane. Barbados, rum, synonymous. Perfect rum punch. Well, I like to think that I do make the best rum punch. That's what, I, that's what we do in my shop, we make the best rum punch. I make the perfect rum punch. How do you make the perfect rum punch? The recipe is one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, and four of weak. So that's one lime. Pure West Indian lime juice made with a green lime and not a ripe lime that's turned yellow. That's important to get the flavor right. Two sugar. It should be a bland sugar syrup, not too rich, not dark sugar, or the molasses in a dark sugar will alter the flavor as well. Three rum. And it must be a good rum, and people will tell you that their favorite brand of rum will make the best punch. So you've got to be sure that you've got the best Barbadian rum, preferably aged. And four water. Or chipped ice. And then a few dashes of bitter and stir. Make sure you've got enough liquor in to knock you out but enough sweet in it that you don't taste it. That is the perfect rum punch. That's what makes it, you know, that's it. And I'm giving you the, the correct recipe. <laughs> I think I'm lucky to live in paradise. It's a place that offers a wonderful blend of traditional and cosmopolitan. And we just, just have this laid-back attitude. Just to stop and think and look at what is around you. Enjoy life and uh, take one day at a time. You don't need to work so hard. Let it go and just relax. You just continue your life in a, a state of contentment. And I, I think the sense of humor is what keeps people young. Enjoy the food, the drinks, the ambience, the clubs, the people. When you come to Barbados, is long live life. 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 Whatever you meet is right. Long live life. Where are we, your friend or wife?